I think everybody can agree that the world be a lot better off if we didn't have war. War is immoral, and that is certainly reason enough, but there are many other reasons too. War never solves anything, it only makes things worse. The idea behind World Beyond War was that we wanted to address the institution of war, not just the war of the day. If war is to be abolished, it must not be considered as a viable option because there is no such thing as a good war, just as there is no such thing as good slavery. Both of those institutions are abhorrent under any circumstance. To that end, World Beyond War describes itself as an anti-war organization rather than a peace organization. Peace isn't controversial, everybody wants peace. But there are many things that you, you can do in the name of peace that don't address war at all. So we think this differentiation is important. The importance of being truly international cannot be stressed enough. The US is the biggest warmongering country by far and polls rightly show that the rest of the world considers the United States to be the biggest threat to world peace. Pushing the US into the needed changes will require a very strong international effort. World Being War is made of members and organizations who have taken the following pledge. We commit to engage in and support nonviolent efforts to end all war and preparations for war and to create a sustainable and just peace. To date, we have about 75,000 members, which is not a large number considering the mission, but those members come from 189 countries, which represents incredible potential for international collaboration. One of the hurdles to ending war is convincing people that it is actually possible. Many people believe a lot of myths about war, like war is natural. Well, if war were natural, then it wouldn't cause post-traumatic stress disorder. So there's a lot of educating work that needs to be done as we work to abolish war in this way as well. The global security system that we operate under today is essentially run by the United States and is based on war or the threat of war or severe economic sanctions which constitute war crimes like those imposed on Iran right now. The US believes in the might makes right theory and backs that up with an expenditure of $1 trillion a year on war and weapons, almost as much as the rest of the world combined. According to the United Nations, world starvation could be ended with just $3 billion. I can't even imagine what could be accomplished with $1 trillion. World Beyond War wants to transform this system into one that recognizes a role for all nations to work collaboratively on issues that affect the security of all of us, like climate change or a pandemic. We need a system that is based on international law and human rights and one that would resolve conflicts through diplomacy or international courts, not by violence. The seminal publication of World Beyond War is our book, A Global Security System, an Alternative to War or AGSS. It's now in its fifth edition and it's what we refer to as our blueprint for transforming from the security system that we have today to the one that we want. It describes why an alternative security system is needed, why World Beyond War thinks it is possible to end war, and an outline of an alternative system organized into three main sections. The first, demilitarizing security, includes actions that would ease tensions between countries. Military exercises, which is a nice way to say practicing for war, would end. We would close the 800 plus military bases the United States has in 80 countries. Military alliances such as NATO would be dismantled because they only serve to deepen the divide between countries. There would be complete disarmament. The treaty prohibiting nu nuclear weapons is a huge step in the right direction. The second section, managing international conflicts, would include things like reforming or replacing the United Nations to make it more democratic, supporting and respecting the International Criminal Court and the International Court of Justice, democratizing international economic institutions like the World Bank, and supporting international NGOs like the World Health Organization. Our internationally recognized education program will always be at the core of our work. We have a downloadable study guide for the AGSS and a 15 page summary that has been translated into nine languages and counting. We offer several online courses, War Abolition 101, 
War Abolition 201, War in the Environment, and Leaving World War II Behind. We have an expansive website that contains a ton of information, including fact sheets to dispel the myths about war that I mentioned earlier. We do lots and lots of webinars and an annual conference, and we are really excited about a collaboration we have right now with the Rotary International Action Group for Peace on a youth project. We have two other campaigns we're working on. The divestment campaign is in collaboration with the United States organization Code Pink. And the idea is to encourage and help entities such as a workers union or a municipal government take the money that they have like pension funds, which may be invested in weapons corporations like Boeing and move them into other stocks and investments that don't support war and militarism. We're also working to shut down the hundreds of US military bases I mentioned earlier. These bases are provocative and threatening and create enormous tension. They are also the source of massive environmental damage that the United States takes no responsibility for. We know it is critical to be connected internationally. We are very proud to have these incredible women on our advisory board, and we are always looking for new members for both our board of directors and our advisory board. We are particularly looking for more international diversity, ethnic diversity, people with connections to international foundations and grant possibilities, and academic institutions and peace studies programs. There are lots of ways to get involved with World Beyond War, and the easiest is to sign the Declaration of Peace on our website, take an online course and become a member of the Alumni Network, start a chapter. Our organizing director, Greta Zaro, will help you every step of the way. And we can always use help with social media and publicity. You can find all of this information and a whole lot more on our website. Let's work together to make a world that is truly beyond war.